All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachachodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings. Shalom to the Most High's elect. All right, this is the brother Yagadal Amar from GMS Houston, and uh, I just wanted to go through um uh a chapter uh the second chapter of. First Corinthians, man, all right, to kind of address a guy I ran into who, um, if I'm correct, I think he, uh, he follows IUIC and, uh, he made the statement against GMS that GMS, they don't really speak too clear. They're a little bit too rough. They cuss, uh, and things of that nature. Okay. And said that, that they have to ask brothers for precepts and stuff like that man and it's funny I, I laugh then and i laugh now thinking of a guy who's never been out on the highways and byways never done a video never did anything to feed the most high sheep all right and he's just one example of men who have have never done anything to further the ministry but criticize the men who are handling the most highest ministry man all right a, a business man okay serving the heavenly father by prophesying and teaching this word all right, day in and day out, man, okay, but uh, the point uh, I wanted to get to, all right, and in the second chapter of 1 Corinthians, all right, well, Paul stated clearly, man, that he didn't come to speak with enticing words, all right, using uh, the world's wisdom, man, but he came in the spirit and power of the Most High, so the glory could go to the Heavenly Father, man, Okay, and that's what the big picture is all about, man. Everything that's happening is for the honor and glory to fall upon the Most High's name once again, okay? All right, but these guys who speak with enticing words, come with these eloquent speeches, all right, always got to have their names and the titles. Everything is so clean cut and to the point, man. Okay, they're seeking a name for themselves versus just serving the Heavenly Father, man. And that's what separates the real men, all right, the real teachers from the ones who are trying to just uh, uh, gain something from uh, from doing this work, man. All right, or being a part of being a, uh, being a part of these teachings, man. Okay, all right. So we want to make sure we're in the spirit of giving the glory to the Heavenly Father through the way we teach, man. Okay. And not getting caught up on who's watching us, all right, what attention we have, if our name is known, all that other BS, man. Because that's what, uh, at the end of the day, that's what the majority of these guys that teach outside of GMS, all right. And there are sincere men amongst them, all right. But the head guys that's, that's teaching, they want a name for themselves, man. They have ha got comfortable here in Babylon, man, okay. And I want to make a quick point before I get into the scriptures, all right. Uh, the way that these men look at Great Millstone is the same, uh, they they are coming back in the same spirit that they were when the men uh, the prophets of old were on the scene. All right, when the apostles was on the scene, man. All right, criticizing them and nitpicking on all this BS instead of focusing on the uh, the uh, the the teachings and the words that were being spoke, man. The understanding that was coming out, but that's not for everybody. Okay. So, uh, Lord willing, there's some edification in this lock it for the long intro. All right. But this is, um, first Corinthians chapter two and verse one, it says, and I brethren, when I came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. Okay. Now, matter of fact, let me, because it's a lot of guys don't want to deal with prophecy, man. And that's the main thing we should be focused on in this time, man. Okay. So, uh, I want to get the test. It spoke on, uh, Paul uh, said the testimony. He came with the, uh, um, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. Okay. Now, is the Most High and Yahweh Shai in a disagreement on the doctrine to understand? No, they're in accord and on one accord on everything, man. Okay, so just dealing with the spirit of the Most High. All right, this is Revelation 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay, so you have guys, all right, that get in this petty nitpicking spirit, all right, who don't focus on the testimony all right, uh, 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 of Yahweh Shai, 
all right, of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, okay, which is the spirit of prophecy, man, okay, they step or they 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 mute their ears and really it's the angels are right, commanded by the heavenly father to stop them from getting this understanding all they focus on is the delivery all right the appearance of the man who's speaking all right versus the message that's being taught man okay Verse back in uh first corinthians 2 and 2 it says for i determined not to know anything among you save yahweh mashiach and him crucified and I was with you in weakness and in fear in fear and mu in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, man. OK, we're supposed to be doing what we have to do to make sure that the uh, 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 the power of the heavenly father's word is manifested and known, man. OK. All right, but now these guys who get, who wants to come with these uh, uh uh enticing words of man wisdom, they're ultimately seeking uh the uh, audience uh, of their own to to glorify themselves, man. Okay, want to have their personal name in every title. All right, they want a, a notification on every uh 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 so like they want recognition on everything that they do. Versus focusing on the the uh, the word of the heavenly Father being established and teach and uh, uh, no matter what, man. Okay, verse five it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High, man. All right, everything that's happening, man. All right, all right, all right since the uh, from from Genesis unto uh, uh, unto Revelation, which we are uh, are getting close to uh, uh, to the. Uh, uh, the end all be all, which is the mark of the beast. All right, is all dealing with the Most High, getting that glory and honor given back onto His name throughout the whole earth. Man, it's not about us, man. We're supposed to be examples of the power of the Most High, using His Word, which is the tool He gave us to show His power of in Him and not of ourselves, man. Okay, it says, "How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect." Yet, not the wisdom of the world, nor the princes of the uh, of the world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High Power in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory. Man, okay. Now, verse seven is heavy, man. I'm gonna read it one more time. It says, "But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery." Even the hidden wisdom. Now, this God that I was speaking of, he didn't get the mystery because it wasn't meant for, uh, 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 meant for him, man. Okay, and that's another way that the Most High weed out guys who's not meant for this, man. Okay, they see the roughness of the prophets. All right, they see the the so called harsh language, and we don't even go as hard as we did back in the gap, man. Okay, when we first started teaching, man, when the apostles was first on the scene, man. All right casting out that spiritual net to pull in righteous men all right in the proper spirit man all right but that turned a lot of guys off man all right uh out here in the houston camp when we uh had first established the houston camp all right uh we was uh dealing with uh these guys called the remnant of israel all right when we first started going out and teaching and these guys had an issue with the apostles man all right, they didn't they they didn't like the fact that we would tell uh bug outs to get up the street and move around. All right, they didn't like the roughness of how the apostles teach, so they 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 went their own way, and not one of those guys are still around today. One of them, the head guy, was a is an atheist now. The other guy is a damn poetry battler. All right, just giving examples of men. All right, who were turned off by the raw spirit of this truth, man. Okay, and this truth is very raw, man. So even if you do use enticing words, if you push the raw truth and prophecy, man, it's rough and it's raw. Okay, but it, that's it, that's why it's a mystery. Okay, everybody's not meant to get this, man. Okay, and the way the Most High packaged it is not appealing unto the world. Okay, so uh, verse eight it says, which none of the princes of this world knew for. Had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart 
of man the things with Yahweh, which Yahweh has prepared for them that love him. Okay. So this is, this, this word is for the men that love the most high man. Okay. And we understand what the proper definition of love is according to the word, man. Okay. It says, but Yahweh hath revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things. Yeah. The deep things of the most high man. Okay. And that's why the most high set it up this way, man, and that the way that the prophets come is going to be a turn off unto men as that comes in that worldly spirit, man. Okay. They're not going to be able to understand this beautiful knowledge. Okay. Because they're caught up on appearance. They're caught up on delivery versus the understanding that comes out, man. Okay. All right. It says verse 11, it says for what man knoweth the things of a man, so like it, for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of Yahweh knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yahweh. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. This comes a separation, man. All right. You either going to receive the spirit of the world. All right. Or the spirit of the most high. All right. And it says, but the spirit, which is of Yahweh that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high power, man. Okay. And that's what separates guys like I spoke of, man. All right. Who, who, who are looking for somebody to be clean cut, speaking with enticing words. All right. Uh, uh, uh very, uh, uh, very well spoken. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. All right. Long as you speaking the truth, man, but majority of the guys that come in that spirit, they're looking to make a name for themselves versus serving the heavenly father and making sure the honor is going to him and the power of his word is, is known. Okay. So, uh, that's it for this, uh, lesson, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect men who's fighting unto the end. Shalom.